it's Sarah. I just have another quick ATC share for you guys. I've been doing these, uh, I think I'm pretty much done now. I have a couple other new things I'm going to be working on that I will definitely share with you guys. Um, but for today, I wanted to share my final ATC cards. An ATC is an artist trading card. They're two and a half by three and a half inch pieces of art. Um, I did, I'm just going to take a butt wipe because it's handy. I just see a little bit of um, smudge. I just did this little face last night, and it's kind of like a grandma, but my, um, my thought was I wanted to use these glasses, and these are, here they are, they're spare parts from Hobby Lobby, and I ended up having to use two stacked on top of each other. I had glued one on, and I was done, and I thought, yeah, that's not going to do it for me, and then I glued another right on top because it made it taller. It was just too low, and because I used some pretty thick, these green tiles on the edges are very um, high. I'll show you. They're very thick, so these are little jewelry findings as well, but the glasses were very thin. They're, you know, you can't even see them really sticking out. So, but I wanted to use the eyeballs, and when I put them in the glasses, I just couldn't resist. And I did end up putting a little bit of the white in the eye there. I don't know if I needed it because, I mean, they're glasses. It would have been, anywho. I used the black millifilori for the hair. I'll come in. Um, so cute. I think it's cute. I mean, maybe the the... The cheeks are a bit much. I could have pushed them to the side or maybe just used a half of one. Um, but in the moment, you know, it's what I went with. And I got to stick with what I went with. You know, that's the, it's always the way for me. The first time is kind of just trial and error and then I see what I like. That being said, I did another gnome. So that's my little grandma face. She either has curlers in her hair or something, but I think it's cute. Um, so this was the first gnome I did, my little uh, Valentine's gnome. Pretty cute. I wanted, I played around with a different kind of background with this one. That was kind of the, the trial and error that I did on this one. And then I did a different one. So he's a lot more easy to see. I wanted to use some more of that. Now this is it too, the Van Gogh, I think it's called Van Gogh. Yeah, the Van Gogh glass, it's kind of like got a dendritic effect in the background so that's the dark blue this is purple copper and red something like that I, ha I got a few more colors I did his hat with that and I did purple pants and I did a white beard um, and I think I changed the hands no I did it kind of similar he's a little more petite he's taller so see he's a little stumpier he's a little taller and I just gave them a little grass on the bottom and a blue background in two different shades. So I did him, and he's grouted with gray. This one's grouted with the linen. This one was grouted with the linen. I thought it would make the face blend more to use the linen, but I'm telling you, the grout is the most tricky part for me to know what color to use. And I'm just feeling it out. So let's see what else. And then I did this one. I wanted to, again, this was the one I did before the eyes. I went over, this is just some findings that I had probably from Hobby Lobby again in the, you know, spare parts world, something like that. And it's a little low. And I, I pulled off some grout here. I probably could have grouted a little better along this edge. Because I wanted to use a jewelry finding of this ladybug. I put a couple of millifiluries, a heart, and a, like a, a black to have that contrast. I wanted to tie in the three black, well, four really, with the center. And then I have a big yellow millifilori and yellow flower, and then that gorgeous, I'm um, just loving this green, copper, and like gold Van Gogh glass. It's so gorge. I love it. So this was a little bit of a different take. Um, so yeah, and it says friends, and then I just didn't think the metal was popping enough, so I put some of the gold leafing pen. I just kind of rubbed it on top of it, and on the ladybug it kind of co looks cool like a little sh um, highlight, 
but I might have I might have overdone it with the friends like I don't know I like it but I don't love this piece I think something got lost with the friends so I mean I could have pulled it off and just put more leaves or something or just put the Van Gogh glass there but I mean it's fine I was playing I'm playing with adding different because what I'll tell you now is I ordered two kits from Christy Friesen and I know you polymer clay people know who I'm talking about she's a wonderful wonderful artist who uses she's doing assemblages now but she's using a two-part epoxy as a substrate type thing so if I took an ATC card and I use this epoxy it's like a putty it's a clay basically I'm gonna come up it's basically clay that becomes hard as a rock in 24 hours so we can use it as an uh, adhesive as well so it's clay that becomes an adhesive that becomes a permanent uh, thing anyway so I've come across two different videos using this to do say you put it down and then you can stick things in it so things can be coming up <coughs> it's really good for jewelry so say you know I can't really just glue this down with weld bond with a white glue because it has like I could cut these off probably but it's great for you for doing an assemblage where things are different heights different shapes so sometimes you'll come across something that has a rounded bottom which I know I have in here a lot of the jewelry findings um, so see this little frog it's a it's a charm that I cut the back off but it kinda has a hollow back if I wanted to put this on I could stick it into the epoxy clay and it would hold on to it and, and it wouldn't go anywhere and it would also eh. anyway you'll see so I'm gonna share that with you guys when I get it and when I've done it so you know exactly what I'm doing and then this is what I'll be working on today this I got at like Marshall's it's a bamboo um, Lazy Susan or I don't know what the other name a turntable and I'm going to create a mandala on here uh, so that I can have, I don't know, I'll put it on somewhere. I don't know. I think I'll keep it on my dining room table. But I want to make sure I'm going to draw it out first. I'm going to trace it and I'm going to draw it out first so they know exactly what I'm doing. Because a lot of times when I've done a mandala, it's been hit and miss and I'm just using colors, random things. And I want to really plan this out so that I know where I'm going um, and I can order ahead if I need to if I don't have enough tiles stuff like that so that's it you guys and as always thank you so much for watching